dear students this is a continuation of our previous lectures so this is part 3 where we will be finding the mode and we will be verifying the empirical relation for the given data so already in our previous lectures in part 1 we have found the mean for the given grouped frequency data in the second video lecture part 2 we have found the median for the given data now as a part 3 of this lecture we will be finding the mode for the given data and in this video lecture we will be also verifying the empirical relation whether it is satisfied or not for the given data so these are the calculations that we carried out in order to find the mean and median of the given data now using this table we will also find the mode before that we should know what is the formula for mode the formula for mode is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus of f0 plus f2 multiplied with c where where this l stands for so what is this l l is the lower limit of the modal class now what is this modal class so first we have to find what is the modal class how to find this modal class so modal class is the class for which the frequency f is the highest of all the frequencies it's very simple now if you see here this is the column f that is the frequency column so in this frequency column there are the frequencies that we see here and out of all these frequencies which is the highest frequency we have to check the highest frequency is 17 so the class corresponding to this highest frequency will give us the modal class so be very clear students know how know the difference between median class and modal class for median class you can visit the previous lecture that is part 2 where i have explained how to find the median class and how to find the median of the given problem in part 1 we saw how to find the mean for the given data in part 2 we found the median and this is the part 3 lecture which is a continuation of that lecture where we will be finding the uh, mode of the given data and also verify the empirical relation so now now mode how for, to find mode first we should find the modal class so how to find this modal class we should choose the highest okay this is 17 actually so 17 so 17 is the highest of all the frequencies and the class corresponding to it that is this class is known as what it is known as modal class so this is the modal class that we have so check for the highest of all the frequencies the class corresponding to it is the modal class now in the formula we have f1 f0 f2 and c so what are these f1 is the frequency of the modal class it's is just as now this is the modal class what is the frequency of the modal class it is 17 so f1 is equal to 17 so let me write here itself so the value of uh, that is here the value of uh, f1 is equal to 17 but before that we have l here what is l l is the lower limit of the modal class now what is the modal class this one and what is the lower limit this is the lower limit this is the upper limit the lower limit is 30.5 so the value of l is equal to 30.5 so that we shall take and write the value of l is equal to 30.5 so it's not f it is only l okay so this is l is equal to 30.5 f1 is the frequency of the modal class which is 17 so this is f1 okay next what is f0 f0 is the frequency of the pre modal class so what is the pre modal class it is here so this is the modal class the class which comes before the modal class is known as the pre modal class and what is the frequency corresponding to the pre modal class it is 13 so this is f0 so f0 is equal to 13 so let me write that here f0 is equal to 13 so this is the frequency of the pre modal class next we have f2 
what is f2 f2 is the frequency of the post modal class so this is the modal class i mean here this is the uh, modal class post modal class is the class that comes after the modal class so this is pre and this is post so this is the modal class so what is the post modal class this class becomes the post modal class and what is the frequency corresponding to this post modal class it is 12 so this is f2 for uh, the post modal class that is the frequency of the post modal class is f2 which is equal to 12 so this one this 12 so that we shall write here so that is 12 which is the frequency of the post modal class next c is the length of the class interval which is obviously c is equal to 10 now we shall substitute each of these values in the given formula and find the mode of the given data so let us do that now so now i have i have taken and written everything that we obtained so the value of mode will be equal to first is l so 30.5 plus f1 f1 is 17 we will put a bracket in order to keep up the operations correctly minus f0 f0 is what 13 and this denominator is only for this okay so divided by 2 f1 what is f1 17 so 17 has to be multiplied with 2 and that will be 17 multiplied by 2 is 34 so that we have to write here so 34 minus of so remember you should not leave this bracket it's very important f not which is 13 plus f2 which is 12 and this whole quantity has to be multiplied by 10 so do the calculations very correctly so first you write this 30.5 as it is 30.5 plus what is 17 minus 13 it is 4 so 4 divided by this is 34 minus this so first write this 34 minus add whatever is inside the bracket 13 plus 12 is 25 so write that so 25 multiplied by 10 if it goes one more step extra also it's not a problem but the calculation has to be done very carefully so 30.5 plus 4 divided by what is 34 minus 25 34 minus 25 is equal to 9 so that you write here so divided by 9 multiplied by 10 next multiply this 4 and 10 and what you get it as so here you have 30.5 plus 4 multiplied by 10 is 40 divided by 9 now do this so 30.5 plus what is 40 divided by 9 so that you do so it is 40 divided by 9 and that is equal to 4. Point, we will take to two decimals 4 4 so that is a, a 4.44 .44. now add these two so plus 30.5 i should do so plus 30.5 which is equal to this that is 34.94 so i can write here that is equal to 34.94 so therefore the value of mode is equal to 34.94 so we have found the value of mode also now let us take and write all mean median mode that we have found so i have taken and i have written all the three answers that we have obtained that is the mean median mode now we shall verify the empirical relation now what is this empirical relation here we have the empirical relation is given by mean minus mode is equal to 3 times of mean minus median we shall substitute all that we have found in this and we shall check whether the uh, the mean median mode that we have found satisfies this relation or not so in order to do that first we shall take the left hand side so what is the left hand side it is mean minus mode so what is mean mean that we have obtained is 48.61 so that we have to substitute 
minus mode what is the mode mode is 34.94 so that we have to substitute so 34.94 now we shall calculate this that is 48.61 what we obtain is 48.61 okay minus 34.94 so 34.94 and what do we get it as it's equal to 13.67 so this is equal to 13.67 okay so now next this is our left hand side so let us be let it be as it is now consider the right hand side which is 3 times mean minus median so that will be equal to 3 multiplied by mean is 48.61 minus what is median median is 44.67 so that we have to substitute so 44.67 first we shall subtract these two that is 48.61 so 48.61 minus 44.67 so 44.67 which is equal to 3.94 so this is equal to 3 multiplied with 3.94 and so that will be further equal to we have to multiply this 3.94 with 3 so this multiplied by 3 is equal to 11.82 so that's equal to 11.82 this is the rhs we observe that the lhs is not equal to the rhs that is mean minus mode is not equal to 3 multiplied by mean minus median so the empirical relation is not satisfied because the LHS is not equal to RHS. We know that 13.67 is not equal to 11.82. So we observe that the empirical relation is not true. So this is how we have to solve this problem. So for the given data, first we found the mean and then the median and then the mode and we substituted all these three in the empirical relation and we verified whether it is true or not. And we found that it is not true. So, uh, hope you have understood this problem. Uh, this th These kind of grouped frequency data are very significant topic under measures of averages. In our next video, we will be learning how to find the missing terms in, in a given data when the mean and median are given. So, uh, we will learn more about such problems. Thank you.